Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So what I'm going to do in this one, I'm going to show you how we can build our project a different way than using the launch button in the top right, which is the normal way that I do it, because maybe you want actually access to the APK file to maybe send to someone. So we're going to build it in Unreal, and then I'm going to use SideQuest to put that project on my headset. So I'm going to use Unreal to build the project. And then we're going to use SideQuest to put that project onto my headset. So I'm going to show you that we're not actually using it. So that's wrong. That's updated. So if we jump into the headset real quick, we will have a look at our menu. So you can see there's no multiplayer project there in the unknown sources. This is just for your benefit and to show that it's from scratch. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to File. We're going to package project, Android, and Android ASTC. If you're not too sure how to set up a project for the Oculus Quest or the Oculus Quest 2, I'll leave a link in the description to a new video I just uploaded, which shows my Quest settings and how you can get started on that. But for this, we're going to use Android ASTC, and we're going to need to find a location. I have already got the file location where I want to save my project to. And it's my Quest Multiplayer folder. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to do a new folder and I'm going to call this Build. And we can double click this, select the folder, and you can see it starts up straight away. So we've got our output log. We can read through what's going on. And then we've got a package project for Android STC. So all you need to do now is wait for this to finish. The first time you build your project, it might take a little while. But after that, it should be considerably quicker. The project will get to a point where it says build successful in eight seconds. So after that, you just got to wait a little bit and you'll see it updates a little bit more and then it says complete. So now if we actually open up that folder where I saved it to, you should know whereabouts it is. I can go show an explorer. I can find my folder, SCC. And you can see here we've got three files. We have install quest multiplayer.rmv7. We've got our APK and we've got our install or uninstall. If I use install, it'll actually fail. Yeah, so it'll actually fail. And that's because for some reason, if I close it down and we reopen CMD and search AW devices, my headset doesn't actually show up on my PC for some reason, even though Unreal knows where it is. I've got Android Studio, SideQuest can see it, but for some reason my machine can't. So this is why I'm using SideQuest. But normally, if you do, do, if it does show up, you just hit, simply hit install the batch file and it'll install. And then you can also do the uninstall. You do need developer mode enabled on the headset. So if you're sending this to a client, they'll have to have that set up in advance. Otherwise, it just won't work. So we're actually going to use the Quest Multiplayer APK. I'm going to copy this location. And then I'm going to open SideQuest. So on here, I've got my folders, so you can see what's installed on my headset. Uh, we can actually go to the top right. It says install AP APK file from folder on computer. We can select that. You can see because I've done it before, it takes me straight to the folder. But you just copy in the same location, hit enter, and it'll take you here. All you need to do is select your Quest Multiplayer armv7.apk. Hit open. You see nothing actually happens, but in the top right, we've got a 1. We can go to here and it says it's checking against blacklist, just making sure it's fine. So you can see once it's installed, we can actually go into the headset. So if I do stream, then you can see, I'm going to do it like this so you can see my headset. And you can see we can actually see our project file in the unknown sources tab of our apps. So we can select that, just need to wait for a second, and it loads right in. This is pretty much how you can put a project on your headset. And the other part is as well, you can actually send this. So if we close this, all you've got to do is select your project. You can go to send to, compress zip, wait a second, and then you can actually send this to whoever you want. So if we check the actual property size, so you can see it goes from 126 megs to 99. So it cuts it down a little bit. And then you can just send this to whoever you want. So that's pretty much it for this one. That's how you can package your project a different way, install it to a headset if you don't have ADB, and send it to your friends to test out. So 
I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps out quite a bit with the, the YouTube algorithm that keeps changing every day. And if there's anything you do want to see or know, just leave a comment in the description below and maybe even head over to the Discord because over there we can help each other out. Got a, quite a community growing pretty fast, which is quite nice. And everyone's up to date with new stuff. So hopefully I'll see you there. And until next time, stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye.